Right. Ready when you are. Okay. Um, hello, we are Miguel. Andrea, Javier, Paula, Alejandra. Uh, we are going to do a presentation uh, of the interviews we did in the city. Okay, so the introduction. First, we're going to talk about our monuments, eh, La Torre del Oro and La Maestranza. We're going to show you the our road tour, and we're going to talk about the people that we interviewed, and the conclusion. And at the end, we're going to show you eh, our video. Let's start with the monuments. Um, the first one is La Maestranza. Eh, La Plaza de Toros is a 12,000 capacity boring in Seville, Spain. Bullfighting is one of the most well-known festivals in the world. Uh, this, La Maestranza, is the oldest bull ring in Spain and it was designed by Aníbal González. Um, and the, the ring itself is considering one of the, mo of the city's most enjoyable attractions. Uh, the construction of this bull ring uh, began in 1749 of a circular ring to replace the rectangular bull ring that was previously located here. And bullfighters in Seville during the Feria de Abril are the most important events of the city. Um, bullfighting calendar, usually it goes from March or April until late September. This is La Torre del Oro, it's a very famous um, touristic tower located uh, next to the Rio Guadalquivir, no, in the Rio Guadalquivir next to La Maestra and it has a height of 36 meters. La Torre de Oro is a technical military watchtower in Seville, and it was erected by the Mujad Caliphate in order to control the access to Seville, the Guadalquivir River. And it was constructed in the first years of the 15th century, and the tower serves as a prison during the Middle Age. Uh, its names come from the golden Shape is projected on the river. Look at the class right. And this is La Torre de Plata, that is like the little sister of La Torre del Oro. Uh, less, like nobody knows this, but less than 200 meters separates La Torre de Plata from La Torre del Oro. And most of people uh, don't know anything about this. For example, I didn't know anything about La Torre de Plata before doing the presentation. Oh, really? I didn't know that this, I didn't know anything. You didn't know it existed? No. Really? Wow. Did you know it existed? Yes. yes. Okay. And it was part of the walls that surrounded the city. Uh, and the Torre de la Plata is an octagonal tower located in the river of the Torre de la Plata and is believed to be constructed in the same mirror. Now we are going to brochure. Or brochure. Uh, brochure. Brochure. What's a brochure? Um, it's a, it's a piece of paper, a flat, a piece of paper where you find what? The information, information, information about the monuments, about, about whatever. And on the, on the other side is a map with the, where the monuments are located. Very good. And in the front part of the brochure, you can see the monuments we do in the project. And <coughs> QR. Can somebody test the QR, please? Somebody fast, somebody quick. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. Okay, you can continue, then we'll go back. Uh -huh. you, what, what, which, which is which? Andrea, where is La Torre del Oro? Which picture? ¿Cuál de las tres la Torre del Oro, Andrea? Espera, que está Daniel comprobando el QR. Ahí vamos. Andrea, which one is that? La Torre del Oro. ¿Te la sabes? Sí. ¿Cuál? Eh... Hay dos que son parecidas, pero una es la Torre del Oro. ¿Cuál es? Esa, 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 esa. Sí, sí, sí. La del Me. El... La del Me. Sí, no, 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 no. <laughs> sale, sale nada. Bien. Ok, very good. It works. So the QR works. Right, continue, please. And the other side, you can see the map of all of the monuments we do. And now we're going to talk about the people that we interviewed. 
Uh, the first monument that we decided to go was La Torre de Oro, and this was the first family that we interviewed. Uh, they were from England, and it was their first time in Sevilla and their first day, and they were very happy because uh, this day it was very sunny. I asked them about what did they like the most about Seville, and they told me that they really liked the weather, the people, and the food. Uh, and we asked them about uh, La Torre de Oro and La Torre de Plata, and they didn't know much about it, but they felt curious. Uh, and they were uh, very nice, and they really liked getting interviewed. And from uh, uh, all the people that we interviewed, they were like the ones that talked the most, and they were like the nicer ones. And at the end, we gave them the triptych, and we made uh, a picture with them. Here is the picture, and we can see Javier, Paula, and Okay, Okay, we are slowly going to point, point to them, point to them. You have time. Yes. Uh, and Javier, Rush. Andrea, Paula, and me. Uh -huh. And here we can see Ellen, Benson, <laughs> Susan. <laughs> Why are you laughing? No, no, no. Why are funny? And and where, are they, where are they from? Uh, from England. From England. Where from England? Do you remember? No, I don't really see them. And in the background we can see La Torre del Oro and here is the Guadalquivir River. Um, and here we can see some pictures of England, for example, the uh, capital, London, or the uh, English flag. Beautiful picture, that one. I wonder where, 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 where that is. I wonder. Okay. Beautiful picture. Good. Nice. Okay. Uh, the couple was the second um, couple that we interviewed. The woman was called Lucy, and they were from Switzerland. Uh, it was the first time in Seville, so they didn't know anything about the city, but they say that they like it very much. And we asked them things and curiosities about the Dimais and they didn't, they didn't know uh, anything, but they say it was interesting to know more about it. All of it didn't? No. no. Uh, the family I was interviewed were from French, were from the capital of French, uh, Paris. And Again, they put, 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 put the tablet on the, on the table. Don't, don't put, get the tablet in your hand. From, from Paris. And <laughs> they come to the city for tourism. Okay. They speak a lot of language, uh, English, French, and a little bit of Spanish. And they are uh, Christ, um, and Christ. There was a Christ. Christ and Alice. Christ? That's his name? Yes. Christ? Yes. You interviewed Christ? <laughs> oh my god! What a moment! <laughs> okay. Uh, it's like, like Christopher, right? Christopher. Christopher. Christ. Ah, Christ. Okay. <laughs> Uh, they told tell, they told us uh, just uh, cry, uh, Christopher. Mm -hmm. Christopher can speak Spanish because he had been living in Spain for two years. One thing I learned from this person was the was that English is very important to communicate with the other country people because if you can't speak English and go to other country, you will not be able to speak with. Other people like Trist, uh, like Christopher in the moment. Uh, they knew a lot of things about uh, cathedral. For example, they knew the name of the monument, the style, the location, and what there was and in what there was with. Uh, the favorite thing from Seville was the Plaza España. They told us they, are, they were very impressed when they saw it. After that, we take a, a photo, took a photo, and gave them our brochure. Very good. One thing I would like to do next time is speak a bit better because I still can't speak in English very good. Mm -hmm. You do, you do. Yeah. You're doing it but right now, and you're doing a very good job. Because <coughs> better, and better, and better all the time. Yeah, okay. The family I was interviewed uh, are Paul and Mary. They are from uh, Belgium. And Belgium. Belgium, and it's for uh, their first time in Seville. Uh, they like a lot uh, Seville, and the most uh, they like 
uh, was the Torre del Oro uh, and the weather. Uh, they didn't know anything about the Alcazar, but they said it's very interesting the things I will tell The things you told them eh, were very interesting, very good. In conclusion, we have a great time and know a story of a lot of people. I agree with you and we learned a lot and now we knew that um, without English you can't speak with, uh, with the people from other countries. Now we are going to play our, our video of our interviews. Sorry, 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 continue. 